uh, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And I think that uh, a lot of times people that have parents at home or a parent, or a parent that is really a, a true force in their life, you know, that, that is the final measuring stick for them that they're trying to always say, would this affect my relationship with that person or hurt them in any way? Um, let's talk about the expectations of your senior year. Your team expectations, of course, your expectation. And just to, to touch on something that I think is so cool, um, Mel Kuyper, you know, Sports Illustrated analyst and ESPN, and he ranks all the players coming into their senior year. You've had the fortunate luck, I hope it's not a jinx, but uh, to be ranked in the top five kickers coming back in the nation uh, as an NFL prospect. Um, Talk a little bit about your senior year coming up, and uh, do you feel pressure on being ranked in the top five kickers? And um, you know, what's your expectation? Would you like to get an opportunity in the NFL? Well, start with your first question. I mean, if you look at team goals for this year, I mean, uh, without a question, national championship. I mean, I, I don't know what kid wakes up in the Division One football program or any program for that fact and doesn't want to win the big trophy or anything at the end of the season. I and mean, that's why you put all the work in. That's what you do it for. Um, personal goals. You know, I think this year, um, I mean, I hope to have a great season. I want to break all the records that I haven't broken at school yet. I want my name on the top of all those lists. You know, I want to perform at the best that I can perform. I put in all this work, you know, in the off season, and I want to show people, you know, what that's done for me, how I've elevated my game, how I've elevated my confidence, my, my, myself physically. And I've put on 15 pounds in the last six months working out in the weight room. And I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to help and it's going to show great dividends in the field this year. You know, I... I just got back from Colorado and Wisconsin. I was working out with some guys out there, um, some of the best kids in the country, some of the best coaches in the country. You know, and, uh, this new guy, Paul Assad, he's teaching a whole bunch of different things right now about, you know, mechanics and movement and the way to translate your energy down the field and give you a bigger ball. And I think that working with him is really going to take me from, from being where I am now and put me over that, that real line of being a good kicker who's solid in college to have him a chance to play at the next level. I mean, a lot of what you see on those lists, they're all big name, big Division I A players and stuff. And to be on a list like that from a, a Division I AA college shows that kicking really is universal. I mean, it's the same at every level. 50 yards in Division Three in front of 10 fans is the same as 50 yards in Division One in front of 100,000 fans. Right. I and mean, as long as you can block out the, the perception, all, everything on the field is exactly the same. Sure. And it surely doesn't hurt to have a uh, a grade A transfer from Penn State, the quarterback, and Pat Devine. I mean, I've been following Pat since he's been a sophomore at downtown East. And, uh, well, what a high school quarterback, originally committed to Miami, then he goes to Penn State. I thought he uh, should have played more, came into the Ohio State game last year, did a great job. And I know he came down at Christmas time, and he's the, the man at, at Delaware now. That's got to be exciting, especially just losing uh, Flacco, who's you know, of course, had a great, outstanding rookie season with the Baltimore Ravens. And, uh, you know, John, I, I just want to thank you for, uh, for coming here today. You're, you're a great athlete, but more importantly, a tremendous kid, high character, the type of kid I would hope my daughters bring home today. So let's bring home to our house someday and tell me that uh, this is the guy. So uh, I wish you all the luck. Thank, thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you for being done for me. I, I really appreciate it.